I think I'll bring some more cups from my place. Do you think we need that many? Well, it's better to overcoat it than under, isn't it? Mm. Oh, I found it. Found what? I found out what's happened with Pete's money. Well, all it does is make it even more weird. What do you mean? Well, every month, money's transferred out of Pete's account into another one. What, like an investment account of some sort? No, it looks more like a private savings account. As far as I can tell, he's kept enough money to live on and everything else has gone into this other account. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. Probably. And if he does have a big debt of some sort, it'll probably have to be paid out of his estate. And whoever owns this other account will won't know about Pete. How are you going to get in touch with him, though? Well, maybe I'll call the bank and explain what happened. They might be able to shed some light. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise you were here. Well, what? You would have stayed in your room? No, I would have come out sooner. I was hoping we could hang out this afternoon. I don't think so. Manny, don't be like this. Let's just go to the diner and grab something to eat. I'm not hungry. Come on, I know you haven't eaten all day. You must be starving. OK, let me put it another way. Even if I was starving to death, I wouldn't go anywhere with you. Uh, okay, um, I'll bring you back something. Don't bother. leaving Matilda alone. I hope she's okay. Yeah, well, this whole thing about how bad she looks is just ridiculous. Look, to us, maybe. But to Maddie, it's obviously very real. Oh! 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 My goodness, those ingredients are heavy. I forgot to leave the recipe. Oh, yeah. Oh, look, a, a word to the wise. Don't do what Lance did the time that we had a Lamington drive for one of his year six classmates, Emily Okay, Spooner. let's get Pick those ingredients, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're right up here. Now, um... This should be enough, but if you need any more, just give us a tingle. You know, not many youngsters your age would volunteer to spend their time making 500 lemmings. What about 500? Yeah, well, look, I'm sure you'll do a wonderful job. Toodle. Yeah, I know, that, that's what the last girl told me, but she said you might be able to override that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I realise that, but that won't come through for a few weeks. Okay. Yeah, no, I'll do that. All right, thanks very much. Bye. I guess you what they said. Oh, I might get more info when probate comes through, but until then, all she could tell me was the account was in the name of Andrew Curtis. Who's Andrew Curtis? I don't know. The name doesn't ring a bell. Surely they can give you more information given the circumstances. Well, apparently it's a sealed account. Andrew Curtis. Hmm. Oh. Colleen could be so evil. Uh, hello, I tried to warn you. Hello, no, you didn't. Uh, hello, I think I did. You don't be so smug about it, jeez. <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't help it, Rick. You were so asking for it. Oh, no, 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 don't, 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 don't. Oh! Oh! You're kidding. All right, then. <laughs> I hate you, Turner. I hate you. I hate you. Oh, oh. You're going to kill me. We should probably get cleaned up and go back to work. You know, if you owed money to someone for that long, why wouldn't you just tell me? Well, maybe he was paying someone off to keep quiet. I wouldn't think so. <laughs> oh, that is adorable. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, and soon after you almost had my eye out with that cricket ball. We were an eye patch for a week. Oh, wait. This could be something. It's a, a letter signed by Andrew Curtis. Look. It's type no greetings. 2004. Need to see you and talk. Let me know what day and time because I have to rearrange my classes. Could be a teacher. Well, it's on a boarding school letterhead. Boarding school? Are you going to call him? No, I'm going to go and meet this Andrew Curtis in person. Come on. Oh, 
How are they going? Nearly done. Well, there's nothing else we can do until that batch is done and the tins are free, so I might just duck over to see Maddie. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, even if she doesn't want to see me, these lemmingtons might cheer her up. You know, Rick, even though it's awful what's happening right now, it's not a crime to laugh. It doesn't mean we miss them any less or that we don't care. I'll see you in a little while. Thanks. A sugar fix will help, trust me. Come on, Maddie, I'm worried about you. Don't be. I don't want you thinking all these terrible things about yourself. None of them are true. You don't know what it's like. Maybe I don't. But you're my best friend, and I do know you're a great and lovely person, and that's all any of us see. Just gorgeous Matilda. Thanks. Look, and about Lucas. I don't want to talk about him. He really cares about you, Maddie. If he didn't kiss you back, it's probably because it threw him and he's not ready for it. It's got nothing to do with how you look. It doesn't matter anyway. Of course it matters. And if you give him a chance, I'm sure you guys can work it out. It's not just Lucas, is it? Every time I go out with a guy, it turns into a major disaster. I tried changing myself for Callan, and I tried being myself with Lucas, and none of it works. You know why? It's because there's something wrong with me. It's me. I'm a problem. What are you supposed to say to that? It obviously goes way deeper than we thought. Yeah, she's got everything out of perspective. It's scary. Could it have something to do with her being so down about Robbie and Kit that uh, it somehow got warped? No, I think Maddie's been thinking about this stuff for ages. You know why things never work out in her relationships? And all that insecurity's got even more intense because of the fire and the accident. Well, how do we help her? Honestly, I have no idea. Well, should we tell Beth? Or, or maybe, maybe Mr Baker or even Rachel could talk to her? Yeah, but like those guys don't have enough to worry about. Yeah, Rick's right. And anyway, I think it'll just push her away even more. I just think we have to keep an eye on her and really try to be there for her. Yeah, but do you think that's going to be enough? I mean, how far do you think this is going to go? Dan Baker, I'm here to see Andrew Curtis. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, I actually live on the coast and I wasn't expecting to be here today. Well, if you'd rung in advance, I could have informed you he's on an excursion today. Won't be back till late this afternoon. OK. Um, would you be able to check his timetable for tomorrow, see if he has any non-teaching periods I could have a chat with him? Non-teaching? Yeah, sorry, I, I should explain. I'm a teacher also. I just wanted to catch up with Andrew and discuss a few things. Daniel Baker. I presume you're related to Peter Baker? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm his brother. You're Peter's brother and you don't know who Andrew is? No, um, sorry. Peter died unexpectedly last week and I found some documents in his personal effects relating to Andrew Curtis. Mr Baker, I'm very sorry to hear about your brother. Andrew will be devastated. Sorry? Andrew's not a teacher here, Mr Baker. He's a student. He's Peter's son. Just found out. His brother had a son. What? Why would he keep this a secret for 17 years? But there's a lot more to this secret. What is it? You know something, don't you? Plus, tomorrow. 
Will they? Home and away at seven. Mm-hmm.